Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. Today I was with a group of tourists visiting Gelenkadarl Valley and I did this drone flight despite the rainy weather. It went fine and I wish to share it with you. As you know, it had been for a while we had earthquakes on the top of Fagradasfjall, the mountain to the left, and in the past 24 hours we had 10 earthquakes in this area. In fact, more than a Lonsunuka Giver crater or during the same period, so I wouldn't exclude a possibility of volcanic eruption in Fagradasfjall again. The volume of magma under Svartsangi continues to increase, which could end up with a new magma flow and even an eruption. This is what Icelandic Met Office reports in its latest announcement from March 12th today. Model calculations show that magma accumulation under Svartsangi continues at the same rate as before. In previous events, magma has flowed when the total amount of magma accumulated under Svartsangi was between 8 and 13 million cubic meters. The total amount of magma under Svartsangi has exceeded already that limit. Pressure in the magma chamber continues to build, and there is an increased chance of a new magma flow into Sunnuka Giger crater, and even an eruption in the coming days. Currently, the amount of magma accumulated at Svartsangi cell is to be estimated around 10 million cubic meters. Since last Friday, around 140 earthquakes have been recorded near Sudnuka Giver Crater and Grindavik. The vast majority of earthquakes are small, below 1 magnitude, but the largest earthquake was 2.8 in magnitude on Friday evening at the depths of about 5 kilometers near Thorpeart Volcano, right next to Blue Lagoon. In the last two to three days, there has been a slight increase in the number of earthquakes in the area, but this may be due to the fact that the weather has been calm for the last few days and the measuring devices are therefore more sensitive to small earthquakes. Benedict Gunnar Olfiksson, head of the formation measurements at the Icelandic Met Office, says that he would be surprised if there would be no volcano news on the Reykjanes Peninsula this week. He said this yesterday. The magma corridor has been quiet, as you know, since uh, the last magma run that occurred on the 2nd of March. Uh, the weekly amount of uh, magma under Svarsengi has continued to increase steadily and is now higher than before the magma run at the beginning of the month. Uh, though it's increasing at slower speeds than comparing back to November. Uh, the last eruption occurred on February 8th and was the sixth in a row in almost three years. There is some reluctance in this, but we see clear signs that the land rise is continuing and there is no way it will slow down, says Benedict Gunnar to the morning newspaper. He also says that it is difficult to imagine anything other than a magma run starting within a short period of time, while this sequence of events continues. Uh, this does not go on forever uh, in a land rise without something happening compared to what has gone before. Of course, the system changes and there are all kinds of things that can be delayed, but I have to say that I would be surprised if something didn't happen this week, says Benedict. Uh, Benedict uh, says also that if the land rise continues and nothing happens, then something has changed in the last magma run. He says that the progress of the matter is closely, closely monitored and recalls that volcanic eruptions can begin at very short notice, even less than half an hour. Here we are approaching the crater of 2021, but it had been so foggy as you see that I was forced to return back to the point of uh, departure. The magma tunnel that was formed on March 2nd was about 3 kilometers long, and the magma stopped at about 1.2 kilometers from the surface, 
where it is the shallowest. Uh, the magma tunnel reaches the depths of about 3.9 kilometers. This was stated in an announcement from the Icelandic Met Office on the events uh, that occurred on March 2nd. Uh, the announcement uh, also says that the model calculations show that the magma tunnel extended from Stora Skogafell to Hagafell Mountain. According to the model calculations, about 1.3 million cubic meters of magma flowed into Sunuka Giger Cratero during the March 2nd magma run. This is much smaller amount of magma than in previous events but model calculations show that about 10 million cubic meters or more flowed from Svartsangi into Sunuka Gingar Crater Row. In general, the magma looks for the easiest way to the surface and it is difficult to say what prevented it uh, that time, the announcement says. It could be some obstruction in the flow of the magma, not enough volume or pressure to open a fissure or even combination of these two factors. The magma flow on March 2nd behaved differently than in previous magma flows during the summer and is a reason to study it further in order to further increase the understanding of the nature of magma flows in the region and to understand what the continuation of the events will be. Uh, looking at the history of other volcanic eruptions, it's not uncommon for a magma flow to end without an eruption. During the 10-year period in connection with the Krapla eruptions that lasted from 1975 to 1984 in the north of Iceland, there were 20 magma flows and only 9 of them ended in eruption. Uh, the magma flows from Svatsangi to Sunuka Giger Cratero have become 5 in number, since November 2023 uh, and only three of them have ended in eruption. However, nothing can be said at this stage that the sequence of events on the Reykjanes Peninsula will, be, will behave like the upheaval in Krapla volcano in the north of Iceland in this regard. Uh, Bjarki Fries, a natural disaster expert at Icelandic Mad Office, says that there is a clearly a blockage in the Earth's crust and there is no longer a clear path or enough pressure for the magma to reach the surface. Those are recent updates on the volcanic situation in Iceland. Uh, enjoy the rest of the footage. We are flying above Gelgadalur Valley, the valley of castrated rams. If to translate the name, here you see a lot of sulfuric deposits deposits uh, yellow in color. Uh, it had been a lot of uh, smoking because it had been wet and raining and lava remains hot deep underneath and it's still smoking when it rains. I wish you all the best, peace and blessings from Iceland. God bless you all. Be well.